let's talk about how to build a class project using the Internet of Things. So remember the Internet of Things combines edge devices that talk to the real world with cloud-based services that include databases to store data and servers to compute on that data. Before we get into the specifics of how you might organize a project for your class on the Internet of Things, let's talk about some general principles of class projects. First, your project really needs to be finished by the due date. Um, you're not going to get as good a grade for a project that sounds like a really good idea but isn't finished uh, that you would for a project that's simpler but you actually complete it and, and actually works. Um, so your project should be not too simple and not too hard. If it's too hard, you won't finish it. If it's too simple, um, your uh, teacher probably won't um, think it's challenging enough uh, and that you didn't learn enough. Uh, don't leave everything until the last minute. Um, if you try to do your project in the last couple of days, in the last day, there's a good chance that you won't finish. And this relates to risk management. If you've done something before, you know, uh, uh, you have a better idea of how long it's going to take, how, um, how hard it's going to be, where the problems might be in doing that part of the project. If you're doing something for the first time, it's going to be much harder for you to predict. And so you need to put extra time in your schedule for that learning process. So at the beginning of the project, sit down and think about what parts of the project you've done before and what parts you haven't. And be sure to plan extra carefully and give yourself extra time for those new parts of the project. So on the database side of the Internet of Things, uh, the database design is very critical because that's going to determine what you can do with your device. So start thinking early about the organization of your database. What data will you capture and what can you do with that data? What types of searches, what types of commands uh, will you enable? So in order to be able to make use of that data, you have to be able to store the data in a way that allows you to get to the data in the way that you need to manipulate it. So you may need to think about putting timestamps on your data. When was the data collected? You may need to think about identifying the device in the database, who did it, all sorts of other issues. Um, for your um, device design, for the edge device design, are you going to use a um, full internet enabled device or are you going to build a simpler device and have a client and an application connect to the internet? Um, the internet uh, solution requires a physical connection that's compatible with the internet um, and you also require uh, running the internet software so that will take some effort connecting uh, through an application that runs on a separate client requires you to be able to connect to a, a um, your laptop um, and it also requires you to build an app a separate piece of software that talks to it so that app on the one hand will talk to your device, on the other hand will talk to your database. So um, in, in figuring out how to talk between your um, device and the client, you need to think about what kind of connections does your board uh, provide? Does it have USB? Does it have Bluetooth? Um, and in some cases you may need to use a separate board in order to provide the connectivity. Um, and for a project, that's okay. So let's say the board you want to use to talk to your device doesn't have Bluetooth, but you can build a connection to a different board that does have a Bluetooth connection. That's fine. For a product, you may want to minimize the number of chips, but for a project, having two boards uh, may be okay. What kind of things you can do? Smart temperature monitors. Um, something that will read uh, temperature, uh, send it up to a database, um, and maybe look for trends in that data. Smart card readers, um, so that, for instance, you can uh, uh, let a person into a room. Or a related issue is a vending machine. So um, have a uh, machine that will read something about payment and, and uh, ask the user what 
what uh, snack they want and then vend out the snack for them.